First tonight, charges filed against the suspect accused of shooting and killing NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Guy Rivera was arraigned on murder charges from his hospital bed this afternoon. On Long Island, people gathered for Diller's wake. Among those who paid their respects, former President Trump. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff is live in Massapequa Park with more. Carolyn. Dick, mourners stood in the pouring rain as Officer Jonathan Diller's closest colleagues, members of the critical response team, filed into the funeral home first. And inside was former President Donald Trump, who was here to pay tribute for a young cop who lost his life protecting New Yorkers. A relentless rain seemed to mirror the tears for a senseless loss of a young life. At the Massapequa Funeral Home, loved ones, law enforcement, and strangers came to honor one of New York's finest and support Officer Jonathan Diller's wife, who will now have to raise a one-year-old without a dad. We're going to be donating a percentage of raffles and uh, funds received directly to help support the family during this tragic time. He's only one years old and he's going to grow up without a dad, but he's going to have thousands of dads that are going to look after him. Amid heavy security, former President Trump visited for a half hour, speaking one-on-one -on -one with Diller's wife, Stephanie, offering what observers called words of comfort. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working. This is happening too often. The shooting at the hands of an alleged repeat offender with an extensive criminal history has prompted outrage at New York's criminal justice laws. It's insanely sad and it should have never happened. What makes sense of this? It doesn't anymore. And you know what? Rules and laws have got to change. Nobody's trying to look for a fight. Let's just get a change. Let's get in the room, think this thing out and make a change that's good for everybody. Among the mourners, Diller's St. Mary's High School lacrosse and hockey coach. A prankster, um, but funny in a good way, in a likable way. I, I definitely remember him. Freshman year, he was in my class, and I remember, I remember Jonathan Diller. It's terrible. Also offering solace, someone who knows the pain too well, the widow of NYPD officer Paul Tuazolo, also killed in the line of duty. When Paul was killed, a family surrounded me, the, my blue family surrounded me to make sure that my children and I were not forgotten and we're all here just to do the same for her. And we've seen not only hundreds of blue ribbons and thousands of mourners, but also a tremendous outpouring of financial assistance. Online donations total more than half a million dollars, and the Dillers' mortgage and funeral expenses have all been paid off. In Massapequa Park, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. All right, Carolyn, thank you. The wake for Officer Diller continues tonight from 7 to 9. Again, tomorrow it continues in Massapequa Park, followed by funeral services on Saturday. We'll continue to bring you coverage of the tributes to him here on CBS 2 and on our website, cbsnewyork.com.